Hi friends, in this video we will see 100 questions from Machine Design for your AE Genco TS exam. A quarter joint is used to connect two coaxial rods. Coaxial rods. Alright. The rated life of a bearing varies inversely as cube of load. The bending stress in curved beam is zero at the point other than centroid and axis. The center to center distance between two consecutive rivets in a row is called pitch. In gear having involute, the normal to the involute is tangent to the it is base circle. Base circle is a very very important circle friends. Even in camps also you will find the importance of base circle. Okay. According to Anwin's formula, the relation between diameter of the rivet hole D and thickness of the plate is given by D is equal to 6 root T. D is the diameter of the rivet and T is the thickness of the plate. In a boundary lubricated bearing, there is a lot of dash lubricant between the journal and bearing. It is a thin film bearing. Thin film. Okay. So let us mark the answer. Thin film. Lubrication. There are three types of lubrication, friends. Thin film lubrication, thick film lubrication, boundary lubrication, something like that. There are different types of lubrications for bearings, etc., which are rotating and supporting the shaft. The edges, so basically, the purpose of lubrication is to reduce the friction and hence the power wasted in friction due to the rotation and friction between two parts. The edges of the plates for cylindrical vessels are usually beveled to an angle 80 degrees for what? What is the reason for this? It is for fullering and caulkering. Fullering and caulkering. Transverse fillet welded joints are designed for which? This is a very good question, friends. This is, uh, they are designed for which type of strength? They are designed for tensile strength. You are, joint may fail, welded joint may, welding joint may fail in tensile, uh, under tensile load or even shear load. Okay. So here it is tensile strength. Transverse fillet welded. Okay. Parallel fillet, parallel fillet welds are designed for shear stress. That's the reason, right? If there are uh, parallel fillet welds and uh, transverse fillet welds, your uh, joint, welded joint should be designed for both. In a flange coupling, the bolts are subjected to which type of stress? So this is your flange coupling. This is a shear stress. Shear stress due to rotation. They are subjected to shear. A V belt is designated as B4430 LP has. What is this uh, designation? So, what is the meaning of B4430? It is 4430 mm as a nominal pitch length. When the bearing is subjected to large fluctuations of load and heavy impacts, the bearing characteristic number, this is given by Zn by P, friends. Zn by P, P is the pressure, a bearing pressure, N is the rotation speed of the your bearing and Z is the uh, bearing uh, let us see what is this Zn by Zn by P, but this is the bearing characteristics number, okay. Should be how much? Uh, that is the bearing battery. How many times the bearing modulus? It should be, let us see, minimum is actually, so it is designed for certain, it is 15 times, so minimum 15 times, minimum 15 times. So at certain uh, bearing characteristics number, Zn by P, the friction is minimum, okay, between the uh, rotating parts bearing on the journal. When the shaft rotates in anti clockwise direction at slow speed in bearing, in bearing, it will, what it will do? This is uh, move towards left of the bearing, making metal to metal contact. When the shaft rotates in anti clockwise direction at high speeds, so now here earlier it was low speed and it is now high speed. What it will do? 
what it will do so move towards the right of the bearing making no better to better contact so these are the important observation friends high speed and low speed characteristics of bearings the objective of idler pulley in bed drive what is the main main intention of providing an idler pulley what is that all of the above objectives so it is going to provide all these things decrease the tendency of the bed to slip otherwise if there is a slip there is no uh, full power transmission okay so that's why we have to reduce the slip actual speed and the ideal speed uh, uh, it is a different between the okay belt speed and the pulley tangential speed that is known as the slip the so slip slip is going to reduce the power transmitted by the belt that's why we have to decrease as much as possible and increase the power transmission because the tendency to slip is decrease power transmission increases and now finally increase the wrap angle between uh, wrap angle and belt tension so all of them are the correct answers the objective of crowning a flat pulley is in belt drive what is the main main purpose so here basically to in to prevent the belt from running of the pulley this is a good question friends why crowning is provided actually it it is the surface is elevated little elevated okay so the rim of the pulley is elevated that's called crowning if t1 t2 are the tensions on the right and uh, slack sides of the belt respectively and tc the centrifugal tension what is centrifugal tension formula tc is equal to mv square m is the mass per unit length of the belt and v is the tangential speed of the belt so now he is asking what is the initial tension initial tension is equal to t1 plus t2 plus 2 tc friends actually it is not printed properly it should be 2 tc okay by 2 that's the correct answer because centrifugal tension will be uh, taken into consideration on the slack side and uh, slack side tight side and slack side t1 plus t2 plus 2 tc the size of a cam depends upon this is a good question friends basically base circle once again very very important question the shearing stresses in the inner face as compared to outer surface of the wire in heavy closed coil spring is heavier inside surface will be subjected to higher stresses compared to outside surfaces in a horizontal flat belt drive it is customary to use what it is customary to use top side of the belt as a slack side top side of the belt as slack side bottom side as a tight side the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley depends upon what is that so what are the factors let us see it is going to depend on all of the above material of the belt and pulley because actually coefficient of friction is a characteristic of the two mating surfaces yes or no and slip of, slip of the belt and also speed of the belt so all of them is the correct answer which of the following loading is considered for the design of axles so axles are subjected to bending moment and they are designed for bending stress and shafts are subjected to shear stress they are designed for shear stress they are subjected to shear load or rotation rotation is going to interview introduce torsional shear stress there are two types of shear stress friends uh, one is the tangential shear stress which is induced due to uh, relative motion between the two surfaces and uh, uh, torsional shear stress is because of the rotation of the shaft which of the following loading is concerned for the design of axles once again it is bending moment bending moment and introduces bending stress what is bending stress formula fb is equal to fb is equal to m by z m max by z z is the section modulus m max is the maximum bending moment section modulus is equal to i by y z is equal to i by y moment of inertia by distance of the outermost fiber from the neutral axis a thin spherical shell of inter diameter d is subjected to an internal pressure p if v is the storage capacity of the shell then diameter will this is a good question friends remember this is the answer is 6v by pi whole power of 1 by 3 the groove angle of pulley for a rope drive is normally how much it is kept this is a, once again a good question friends 45 degrees normally 45 degrees the valve rod in a steam engine is connected to eccentric rod by this is once again a good question friends it is by a knuckle joint knuckle joint knuckle joint and quarter joint are very very important joints a double stop butt joint 
this is once again from the wedding friends uh, with equal staffs what is this what is its characteristics it is going to be always in double shear double shear double shear in designing thick cylinders the equation used is all these equations are used friends for designing the thick cylinders what is the thick why how the thick cylinder is uh, uh, what you call uh, identified it is d by t ratio diameter of the uh, shell and uh, what you call diameter of the shell and thickness if d should be uh, less than 10 t it is called thin cylinder if it is more than 10 t it is called thick cylinder otherwise we can say d t by d let us say okay less than 10 it is we will check it up friends anyhow so there is a relationship between thickness and the diameter of the uh, your cylinder so all these uh, Lamis equation, Bernice equation, Clarence equation all of them are used for designing the thick cylindrical shells so earlier for question t less than d by 10 it is thick, thin cylinder otherwise it is thick cylinder the yield point in starting loading is always uh, so it is higher yield point is higher static loading and dynamic loading what is static loading what is dynamic loading static loading is when the parts are not rotating dynamic loading is the load acting on a rotating member when they are rotating that's called your dynamic loading the load they are subject to while in service the buckling load will be maximum for a column when when both ends of the column are clamped so how, what is the formula for that uh, that is called your uh, buckling load buckling euler's buckling load is equal to uh, euler's buckling load is equal to pe is equal to pi square e i by l square something like that okay friends just please check it so there are four end conditions one end fixed another end hinged both ends are fixed one end hinged and other end fixed something like that four conditions are there depending on that some equivalent length has to be found either it is l by root 2 or l by 2 something like that okay l if both ends are hinged it is equal to l equivalent length is equal to length between the fixing ends A shaft is subject to fluctuating loads for which normal torque and bending moment are 1000 newton meters and 5500 newton meters. If the combined shock and fatigue factor for bending is 1.5 and the combined shock and fatigue factor for torsion is 2, the equivalent twisting moment. So here it is from the from something like that. So something like that, some factor. Okay, bending factor whole square plus factor for torque whole square. This is the equivalent torque. Okay, 1.5 something KS, KB, KS and KB. The equivalent torque is equal to KB, MB, whole square plus KS, M, uh, KST, whole square, like that. You can substitute and get the answer. Okay. When uh, screw threads are to be used in a situation where power is being transmitted in one direction only, then the screw threads suitable for this will be. So this, this is a good question, friends. So which type of threads are to be used? Acme threads. Acme threads. Square threads are, square threads are normally used for uh, tran power transmission two directions. Two directions. But this is for one direction only. One direction only. Acme threads. So the shape of the uh, your uh, thread will be something like uh, trapezium buttress thread it will be something like this square thread it will be something like this right knuckle thread it will be something like this the thread cross section I am talking about the property of material which enables it to be drawn into wires with application of tensile force is called this is your ductility okay friends 
ductility. There is always confusion between ductility and malleability. Malleability of the, once again, same thing, friends, okay, but it under compressive load. Yeah, it is going to be used for redu reduction of the thickness of the plates between the, by passing the plate between the two rollers. Okay, that is called your malleability. The property of being drawn into sheets is called the malleability. Right. Plasticity is the ability to retain deformation under the load. Elasticity means the ability to regain its deformation after the load is removed. These are the four important properties of any material. The root angle of bevel gear is equal to, what is this answer? This is a good question friends. Root angle is equal to pitch angle minus dead end of angle. Pitch angle minus dead end of angle. The face angle of a bevel gear is equal to, this is equal to, this is going to be pitch angle plus addendum angle. Pitch angle plus addendum angle. The longitudinal joint in boilers is used to get the required. This is a good question friends. Which dimension we are going to get? It is going to be the diameter of the boiler. Diameter of the boiler. Length will be from other consideration. Okay friends. Transfer joint, something like that. According to Indian standard specification, 10 H6 by Z5 means, this is a good question friends once again. So what is the meaning of this? It, the, its meaning is tolerance grade for the hole is 6 and for the shaft is 5. Right. The usual proportion for the width of key, D is got diameter of the shaft and uh, or diameter of the hole in the hub. So thickness is equal to D by width, width is equal to T by 4 and uh, thickness is equal to D by 6. It should be D by 4. Let us check anyhow. Yes, d by 6 will be thickness. Always it will be in terms of the diameter of the shaft, these two dimensions. If not given, you can assume, safely assume. The suitable material for belt used in floor mill. This is a good question, once again, friends. This is going to be canvas, canvas or cotton duck. When a machine member is subjected to torsion, the torsion shear stress set up in the member is, how is this? It is 0 at the central axis and maximum at the outer surface. Right. 0 is the, we have to check it friends actually, it should be 0 at the, it should be maximum at the central axis. Okay. But bending nature will be different. Maximum at the outermost fibers and zero at the central axis. That is for bending. In Vickers hardness testing, the pyramid indenter of X is, this is a good question friends, it is under material testing, 136 degrees. Please remember these values. Wall stress factor dash very rapidly as the spring index decreases. Wall stress factor, factor is used for springs. What is the wall stress factor? Curvature. It is going to uh, uh, consider the stress induced due to the curvature of the spring. That is the wall stress factor. In the levers of first type, the mechanical advantage, good question friends, is it more or less or equal to 1? It is more than 1. It is more than 1. So there are levers are of four, 3 types friends depending upon where your uh, uh, load is acting and where your effort is applied and where is the fulcrum depending upon that relative position of fulcrum, load and effort, the levers are categorized into 3. So, please check that. So, but here, levers of first type, the mechanical advantage is more than one. More than one. For standard coarse threads of nut, the threads will be as tank is in failure by shear as the bolt in tension. If the height of H is approximately, what's the answer? It is 0.4 times. Stress concentration is caused due to what? Which is the main reason for stress concentration? 
all of the above. So any of these things could induce stress concentration in a mechanical member or machine member. Variation properties of material from point to point in a member, fitting at points in all areas at which load or member are applied, abrupt change of cross section, all of the above. That is the correct answer. Okay, friends. All right. According to Indian standards, a board thread of 6 mm size of course which and with elements on threads and normal tolerance grade is designated as what? This is once again a good question, friends. C. M6 8 D. M means metric thread and uh, 6 mm size. Size is the, okay, P into D. Pitch into diameter. All right. Course. So here we have to underline according to Indian standards a board thread of 6 mm size of coarse pitch and with elements on the threads and normal tolerance grade is designated as M6 8D. A connecting rod is designated, designed as a, this is a good question, friends. A connecting rod is designed as a strut because it is fixed between connecting rod, piston and the crank. All right. It is going to convert a linear motion, a reciprocating motion of the piston into a rotary motion of the crankshaft. The sleeve or muff coupling is designed as a, this is what is the question, what is the answer for this? Hollow shaft. Hollow shaft. Your sleeve inside diameter will be equal to the diameter of the shaft and the sleeve outside diameter will be different. It will be greater than by the two times the thickness of the sleeve. Okay, so hence it is going to be, it has to be designed as a hollow shaft. But normally the material of the sleeve will be cast iron, the material of the, sh material of the shaft will be a steel. When the fun fulcrum is in between load and effort, this is a good question friends. It is going to be which type of uh, levers? Is it second type or first type or third type? A. First type. First for first type of levers. Okay, fulcrum is between the load and effort. In block brakes, the ratio of shoe width to wheel diameter is taken as what is the answer? It is going to be taken as 0 0.25 and 0 0.5. Auto frettage is a method of this is a good question once again friends. What is the meaning of this one? It is a pre-stressing thick cylinders. Pre-stressing of the thick cylinders. It is not the joining of the thick cylinders, calculating stress in thick cylinders, increasing the life of thick cylinders. Okay. So it is pre-stressing to relieve the stress under the load. Your thick cylinders are normally pre-stressed. Okay. But under the load, this stress is going to be relieved. This is called auto frettage. A feather key is generally, this is a good question once again friends. There are different types of uh, uh, keys are there. But he is asking about the feather key. What is the correct answer? It is tight in the shaft and loose in the hub. It is a tight in the shaft and loose in the hub. Remember the words. Okay. In leaf springs, the longest leaf is known as, it is going to be master leaf, master leaf. The pipe joint, the pipe joint mostly used for pipes carrying water at low pressure is, which joint? This is socket joint, this is a socket joint. Bed slip may occur due to, what is the correct reason? All of the above. Under heavy load, loose bed, driving pill is too small. So the correct answer is D. The number of slots in a 25 mm casual nut. This is once again a good question, friends. Important question from the your examination point of view. It is B. According to IBR, Indian boiler regulations, the thickness of the boiler shell should be should not be less than how much? Minimum thickness is asked. 7 mm. Okay. 
okay 7 mm remember this values according to ibr indian boiler regulations factor of safety of riveted jet should not be less than this is a good question friends how much it should be d4 minimum 4 factor of safety so what is factor of safety by the way it is yield stress by allowable stress or working stress or stress safe stress so your yield stress should be minimum four times than the working or allowable or safe stress according to ibr the distance between the rows of rivets for equal number of rivets in more than one row for lap joint or butt joint chain riveting shall not be less than this is a good question friends how much it should be it should be 2d the draft cutter cutter should not be less than once again an important question it should be 3 mm minimum more see maximum this is the maximum draft cutter cutter should not be more than 3 mm remember this maximum and minimum values lewis form factor lewis form factor for 14 and of composite and full depth involute system is so these expressions have to be remembered okay, let us see the answer friends this is a 0.124 minus 0.684 by t where t is the number of teeth on the gear the speed of the sprocket reduces as the chain pitch for a given number of teeth is it going to increase or decrease or remain same it is going to increase it is going to increase a shaft is subjected to maximum bending stress of 18 newton per mm square mega pascals and maximum shear stress 13 newton per mega pascal mm square that is mega pascal at a particular section if the yield pointed tension of the material is 2080 280 newton per mm square and maximum shear stress theory of failure is used then the factor of safety obtained shall be so calculate the uh, maximum bending stress is given and the maximum shear stress also given the yield point in tension is given okay the maximum shear stress theory so get the uh, maximum uh, shear stress by going for under root of maximum bending square, square plus maximum shear stress square Ma um, under root of maximum bending stress square plus maximum shear stress square you are going to get that so divide that by yield point stress you are going to get the fact of safety so after doing that you are going to get the answer as b 2.8 so this is also called maximum principal stress is also called rankin theory and maximum shear stress theory also called gestar tresca theory he is asking from gestar tresca theory the stiffness of a close coiled helical spring subjected to an axial w equal to this is once again a good question friends so you have to remember this answer a g d power 4 by 8 d cube n g is the modulus of rigidity of the spring material d is the diameter of the wire d is the diameter of the coil and n is the number of turns for long interval joint in boilers the type of joint used is once again an important question what joint with double cover plate but joint with double cover plate let us see how it is this is your joint this is cover plate there are two cover plates okay friends right for circumferential joint in boilers the type of joint is used is what is this lap joint with one ring overlapping the other the column of length l is fixed at both ends the equant length is a good question friends so this is a l by 2 all right l by 2 so l for uh, both end hinged, hinged l by 2 for this condition and 2l for i think for both the ends I think one and fixed, other and free, something other friends. Okay, so L by root two for one and fixed and other and hinged are free. Something other. Please check it. So these for different four and conditions, you are having equivalent length. 
the cracks in helical springs used in railway carriages usually start on the inner side of the coil why because of the fat what is the reason for this the reason for this is it is subjected to a higher cycling loading than the outer side what is cyclic loading okay so those the load changing from different nature from tensile to compressive okay similarly from anti clockwise rotation to uh, clockwise rotation and similarly from uh, hogging bending moment to uh, sagging bending moment any of these could induce, in, in, induce cyclic loading bending stress shear stress and uh, other type of stress okay so this is very very important friends so what is the correct uh, answer for this just now we have seen it is a cyclic loading due to can be due to bending due to compressive and tensile loading or due to alternative rotation that means shear torsion shear due to clockwise rotation and anti clockwise rotation soderberg relation is based on dash of the material whereas all other failures relation of dynamic loading are based on ultimate strength of the material i think it should be yield strength friends uh, yield strength this is a good question only soderberg is used on the yield strength when a closely coiled helical spring is subjected to a couple about its axis, the stress induced in the wire material of the spring is, what is this? It is just bending stress. Just bending stress. Couple. That is bending moment. Couple is nothing but a bending moment. Okay. So, something like this. Okay. Right. So, M. M is going to introduce bending stress. What is the bending stress formula? Sigma P is equal to M by Z. Z is the section modulus. Right. The two shafts of same length and metal are joined uh, in series. If the ratio of their diameters is 2, the ratio of their angles of twist must be how much? Let us see the answer. Then we will see the reason for that. D, 16. D to the power of 4, friends. Okay. So it is going to be proportional to d to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4. That means 16. In oilness bearings. So this is a good question friends. What is the answer? Do not require external supply of lubricant. So the name itself indicates oilness. I think Oil less, I think. Oil less bearings. Anyhow, check it. The relation between the relation between pitch of the chain and the pitch circuit diameter of the sprocket uh, D given by the relation T is equal to number of teeth on the sprocket. So, what is the correct answer? So, let us see the answer. This is going to be C from chains. From chains. P is equal to pitch is equal to D sin 180 degrees by T. T is the number of teeth sprocket in standard tapper roller bearings the angle of tapper of outer raceway how much it is 25 degrees 25 degrees in case of pressure vessels having open ends the fluid pressure induces induces which stress it is going to introduce circumferential stress either it should be circumferential or longitudinal but here uh, open ends the pressure, fluid pressure introduces, introduces circumferential stress. So, your cylinder can fail like this. Okay, friends. Let us say cylinder like this or like this. Okay. Into two halves. In case of pressure vessels having closed ends, the fluid pressure induces what? Longitudinal stress. Just reverse to the earlier case. A saddle key dash power through friction resistance only transmits the, 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 the endurance limit of a material with finished surface in comparison to rough surface is so it should be more that is why we are going to give good surface finish to the components if the surface finish is rough if the material surface is rough there is going to be a lot of stress concentration and it is going to reduce the fatigue life of the material component 
Okay. So, endurance limit is going to decrease. That is why we are going to finish the metal elements or mechanical elements members to where the highest surface finish. It is going to reduce the, it is going to increase the endurance limit. What is the endurance limit by the way? It is a minimum stress below which the metal component subjected to, metal component subjected to, uh, metal component subjected to uh, variable loading, infinite number of cycles. Here infinite means 10 to the power of 6, 1 million cycles. A logging device in which bottom cylindrical portion is uh, recessed to receive the tip of the locking set screw is called. This is a good question friends, once again. It is a ring nut. A ring nut. A screw will be self-locking. This is once again good question friends. Uh, friction angle is more than the helix angle. Friction angle is more than the helix angle that is phi greater than alpha. Sorry friends. Phi greater than alpha. Phi is the friction angle. Tan of friction angle is going to give the coefficient of friction mu. But alpha is the helix angle. So what is the helix angle here? It is something like this. Okay. So it is something like this. Okay. This is your helix angle. Okay. All right. For the screw or threads. For high speed engines, a cam, the cam follower should move with cycloidal motion. There are different types of motion for the cam and follower. So for this particular case, it should be cycloidal motion. For low and moderate speed engines, the cam follower should move with, once again, earlier for high speed and for low here, slow, slow and moderate low speed engines, it should be with simple harmonic motion. These two are very good question friends. So please remember them. According to Indian standards, the diameter of reveal hold may larger than the basic size rivet by how much? By 2 mm for rivet diameter between 39 mm to 48 mm. Taper on the cotter and slot is provided on both sides or one side or none side and other sides. It is on one side only, one side only. Cotter and slot. The washer is generally specified by its. This is a good question, friends. By is it outer diameter, hole diameter, thickness, or mean diameter? Hole diameter. Hole diameter. Hole diameter. A screw is specified by its major diameter, friends. It should be major diameter. It is also called nominal diameter. Okay. D into P, M, something like this, M, D into P, P is the pitch, D is the nominal diameter or major diameter, also called, right, the ratio of pistol key diameter in millimeters to the number of teeth is called martule, it is a very very important parameter in designing the gear drives, so both gears pinion and uh, gear which are mating shall have the same module otherwise they cannot mesh and uh, transmit the power. In helical gears the distance between the similar face of adjacent teeth along a helix axis on pitch cylinders normal to the teeth is called which pitch? It is normal pitch. In helical gears the distance parallel to the axis between the similar face of adjacent teeth is called, what is this pitch? This is axial pitch. So, PC into PD is going to give, circular pitch into diameter pitch is going to give pi. PC is equal to pi D by T. PD is equal to T by D. So, they get cancelled and going to give pi. PC into PD is equal to pi. The centrifugal tension in belts, Okay, increase the belt tension without increasing power transmission. This is a good question, excellent question, friends. It will increase the belt tension, but it is not going to increase power transmission. Power transmission is not going to be affected by the centrifugal tension. Why? It is going to be acting on both sides. They get cancelled on tight side and slack side. The notch angle of the impact test specimen is, once again, an important question. 
45 degrees. For maximum power, the velocity of the belt must be, this is T by 3m, where m is the mass per unit length. T is the total tension in the belt. What is the total tension, by the way? Total tension is equal to T1 plus Tc. T1 is the tension in tight side and Tc is the centrifugal tension. Tc is equal to mv square. Tc is equal to mv square. m is the mass per unit length of the belt and v is the tangential speed of the belt which is given by pi d n by 60 where d is the diameter of the pulley and n is the rotational speed of the pulley. All right. When a bolt is subjected to an external load, the stress induced in the bolt will be any of these tensile, shear, combined tensile or shear and shear. Any of these. The form factor of helical gear is dash with the increase in helix angle. It is going to increase with the increase in helix angle. Form factor. Okay, form factor. Form factor, there are various formulae depending upon the gear system, 14 and half system and 20 degree system. Okay, friends, please check that particular form. That means, uh, which type of form your uh, gear teeth is having? Is it cyclical form or involute form? Depending upon that, those equations are given. A metal pipe of 1 meter diameter contains a fluid having a pressure of 1 mega pascal. If the perimeter tensile stress of the metal is 20 Newton per mm square, then the thickness of the belt uh, metal required for making the pipe is it is D. Let us see the question. Right. So, what is this? PD by 2T. You have to stress sigma T from using this equation. Substituting the form, uh, substituting the parameters, you can get that particular uh, thickness. Okay. That is the maximum stress, circumferential stress. You have to check it. Longitudinal stress will be equal to PD by 4T. But normally, uh, this is will be 4T. Sigma longitudinal. Okay. Sigma circumferential will be PD by 2T. The, your cylinders are designed for circumferential or hoop stress. It is high. So, any mechanical component must be designed for the highest stress so that it will give the largest dimension and your material is safe or member is safe. The velocity of sliding dash. Okay. The correct answer is A. What is this? Directly proportional to. Velocity of sliding is directly proportional to the distance of the point of contact from the pitch point. The flank of the tooth is the, what is this flank portion of the gear teeth? It is the surface of the tooth below the pitch surface. Flank. Face is above that pitch surface. Face and flank. The face of the tooth is, just now I was talking to you friends, it is the surface of the tooth above the pitch surface. The function of the washer, this is a good question friends. What a washer will do? It is going to provide bearing area, bearing area, washer, so that your bearing cells will be in the limit and the material uh, so which are in contact are not going to fail by the bearing pressure, PB. Normally, it will be equal to 0.1, 0 0.2 0 megapascals. It is very less, friends. Bearing stress is very less. In order to obtain a bolt of information, this is a good question, friends. It is often asked in the examinations from the machine design. Okay. If uh, your machine design is included in the syllabus, definitely there will be a question on bolt of uniform strength. It is the drill and axial hole through head to up to threaded portion so that the shank area is equal to the area of the thread. This is the correct answer. Right. Okay, friends. In this video, we have seen hundred questions from machine design uh, point of view. We will discuss some more questions from machine design for your AETS Telangana State uh, Genco. So, if you answer these hundred questions and practice these hundred questions, I think I hope you will be able to do four questions given from your machine design. Probably we will discuss some more questions from machine design also. But definitely they are going to help you to score a very high score in your machine design. Machine design section of the your what you call examination. Okay. 
So let us wait in the next video with some more yet good questions from your topics from your TS Genco AE. Let us meet in the next video. See you all. If you like my channel, please subscribe, share among our groups and contacts. See you all.